I chose to do narrative because I think it's one of my strengths compared to the other genres of filmmaking. And I specifically chose drama because uh, it's a love story. It's a love triangle between Chad, Gio, and Isabel. So I think drama is like the perfect genre for me to convey the emotion, the right emotions, and I guess also the message. I just want to show how fluid, not only how fluid gender is or how fluid love is. Um, I, had, I have friends in college who say are part of the LGBT community, but in the films I see on, let's say in local, um, in local films or even television, they're not, you know, it's re they're really, they're really different. So I just, I based my characters on how I see them. I just want to show the different sides or the different um, personalities based on how I see them in my, with my friends in college. I guess I'll start with Chad. Um, so Chad, he, he, in this, um, Chad in this story, he's the one, he's Gio's boyfriend, but at the same time, Gio has a girlfriend. Yung K Chad, I built his character around my friends. So different, pers different people, different personalities. Lahat yan, um, linagay ko sa character ni Chad. For example, um, pag nagkakwento sila tungkol the certain love interest nila and then how they're a bit unsure of their relationship, parang inisip ko na, oh, they're just like me or they're just like any other people around here. Hindi naman sila yung nakikita natin. For example, cliche sa TV na OA or melodramatic, ganun. Parang walang justice kasi yung, ano eh, yung parang nakikita ko sa TV or sa films when it comes to the LGBT community. Pag nakikita ko rin yung friends ko, parang, yeah, they can be a bit dramatic sometimes, but then, aren't we all, parang when we're having fun, di ba? Parang, yun, gusto ko lang din ipakita kasi na um, how you see other people na not part of the LGBT community, ganun din naman din sila. So, ginawa ko sa character ni ni Chad, parang very subtle, very serious din na character. So very opposite, very opposite din sa mga nakikita natin na films dito sa Philippines regard pag LGBTQ films. For Isabel, parang yeah, at first she did start as someone who was naive. Pero at the end, gusto ko rin siya kasi ma-empower na she doesn't need Gio to raise the child. So, and parang she's not the type to stay bitter or to stay mad at um, Chad after finding out that um, he had a relationship with Gio. So parang pinakita ko lang how emotionally um, emotionally strong she is. It may not show sa start, pero parang gusto ipakita na very independent din siya. Kahit nawala na si Gio, she still manages to be this strong woman who can raise a child on her own. And then, and there's nothing wrong with that. For Gio naman, I just, I also wanted to show a character na hindi niya ginagamit si Chad, hindi niya rin ginagamit si Isabel. Gusto ipakita na it's it's possible and it's hard to love two people at the same time, two genders at the same time. And I don't want to show naman Gio as a bad person in this character, in this movie, but I also just want to show how parang yung weakness din ng mga tao na yeah, sometimes it you can love two people at the same time. Actually, this was the first time um, I collaborated with different people in a film, I would usually just shoot and write and edit my own films for my for different classes. But this time, I thought um, I had to collaborate with different people. So for the actors, um, I got Jason, Daniel, and Nicole. Um, before shooting the film, I we had a script reading, and I told them to give their own personal touch to the script, to their own characters, 
especially to Jason. That's why I guess Jason got best performance also in in this film because I, I told him to think of a personal experience or anything he's been going through um, at that time that he could relate to his character and it actually worked. I think he portrayed the character very well. Um, for the cinematography, uh, I just want. Uh, I was very particular also with some of the shots. Like I wanted to show how Chad was in between Isabel and Gio. At the same time, I want to show the shift of um, the shift of power when it comes to the relationship of Chad and Gio, and also how equal they all are. And for the script, um, the idea actually came from an MMK episode. Um, I was told that an M there was an MMK episode where this guy got this girl pregnant, but this guy happens to have a boyfriend. But just that, like I didn't, I didn't bother to watch it. Para lang din pala kong magaya na story or na lines. I just like the concept of the love triangle and the different genders in that love triangle. So I got it there, and then I just put some. You know, like some witty, but at the same time serious um, lines in there. Um, I also wanted to show in my story that just because Gio and Isabel were together doesn't mean Gio will automatically just end up with Isabel because, you know, um, she's a girl or she's pregnant. But I also want to show how this person can love two two types of people and how it's actually confusing to love two people at the same time. And for the production design, um, I wanted it to be, and, well, of course, I wasn't very particular naman with the production design and the sound. I just told, like I said a while ago, it's collaborative. So I just told my production designer and my sound um, designer how I, wanted, how I wanted it, how I wanted it to feel. So, yeah, I was very happy with the outcome of what they did naman. Like I said, this was the first film that I collaborated with different people and um, it was actually more challenging for me because um, before when I would shoot my own films and edit it, it would be really fast because I know which shot I wanted to take and which shots I wanted to do, um, but for this, since it was collaborative, I had to, I think it was a good choice for me also to listen to other people as well because sometimes they make your film, you know, better than what you originally think. Um, they also make your, for the actors, they make your um, characters even, par parang, I guess, um, deeper or more diverse. Tapos, for, I guess, the it was also difficult for me because since it was also my first time to collaborate with other people, um, there were a few things that medyo neglect din yung knowledge ko. For example, sound design. Um, it was my first time na mag, magpa sound design. So um, it was a learning experience for me. So medyo, I guess, it also lacked that part of the film because, you know, I, la I lacked that knowledge during that time. But after that, since, um, since I understood the process more and the practice of it, um, mas na gets ko na siya and mas na apply ko rin naman siya sa um, next film na nagawa ko. Never stop learning because until now, even, even, if I, even after graduating, I still consult um, other people. Um, I still listen to other filmmakers. Because I know in myself na madami pa akong pwedeng matutunan, madami pa akong pwedeng um, malaman in terms of filmmaking. And also, the yung sinasabi na lang niche, parang don't close your doors pag if feeling mo, nahanap mo na yung niche mo. Kasi madami kang, um, there are a lot of things that you'll, you'll experience and a lot of things that you'll learn na sometimes isipin mo parang I know. Just to explore. Yeah, never stop exploring the different fields of filmmaking, different genres, 
different stories. Then, never close your doors on new ideas. Ano yung dating niya? Ano yung Alam mo na. Lumon mamaya. Uy. Ano may problema ba? Ano ba kasing plan mo? Pag-isipan man lang ba? Oo. Pero... I mean, I mean parati naman. Pero hindi ko pa talaga alam eh. Oo. Oh. Ano pa ako ng konting oras? Chad, si Isabel nga pala yung girlfriend ko. Isabel, si Chad. Hi, Isabel. Sa wakas, nagkakilala na rin tayo. Yes, she has told me a lot about me. I'm sure he has. Guys, gusto niyo ng dessert? Wow. Ganda-ganda naman niya. Chad, kilala kita ah. Ano mong gumawa ng bagay na pagsisiyan mo? Parang wala namang mawawala sa akin. Ako? Hindi ka nga sa akin, di ba? Oh. Oh. Saan mo rin ba? <laughs> hindi, salamat na. Paalis na rin kasi ako. Ah, uh, bawi na lang ako. Uh, lunch tomorrow? Sure, ay mga gagawin bukas. Sige. Ah, uh, pasig na lang ng ano mo. Sige. Bye-bye. Uh, Seems nice. Yeah, just make sure you have some supplies to put by the end of the week, right? I'll call you back. Alright. Thank you. Bye. Oh, what's your name? I'm going to call you back. si Isabel. Hindi naman na kaya na akong malaman mo. Hindi pwede yun. Ayoko na ng ganito. Eh ano bang gusto mo? Si Isabel. Ayun. Laging stress at busy sa trabaho, pero kinakaya naman niya. Si Gio pa. Pagbigyan niya lang. Is she saving up for something? Para saan? Mm. Mm. Ang kakasal kami pagkatapos ko mga anak. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Eh, ikaw, may dinidate ka ba? Uh, wala. Wala, wala.
Han? Labas naman tayo. Ano mo na ngayon, Han? Wala pa ako kailangan asakasuhin eh. Sarat ng tao, ikaw pa? Bakit? Paano? Hindi ka man lang nakonsensya? Kailangan mo muna ako magpalingan. Gano'n na kayo katagal? Ano ba mo dito? Isabel! Chad, please. Huwag muna ngayon. Alam mo, niloloko mo na lang kami ni Isabel eh. Eh, anong magagawa ko kung hindi ako makapili sa inyong dalawa? Kung gano'n, hindi na rin kita mahihintay. 